Okay, after a little bit, a, I mean a lot of struggling with OBS, I am finally here. So, uh, what's going on guys? Uh, this is Echo, your local transom. Um, and I want to talk about um, this year's Pride. Because, you know, last year was Pride Month, and I'm a little bit late to this uh, posting about this year's Pride Month. But, um, you know, last month was Pride Month. And um, I went to a pride parade um, in my yee yee ass town, and um, there were there were ups and downs. I will say that, but you know, um, whenever I saw the ad for the uh, pride parade, I just kind of you know knew I had to go. Um, oh yeah, sorry for the audio. It's kind of it's kind of shitty. Yeah, I know, cause of the fans. My, uh, my fucking, uh, laptop fans are evil sometimes, but, um, you know, I've got to deal with it right now. Oh my god, this person is just running. Ugh, so, where was I? Oh yeah, so I saw the ad for the Pride Parade, and I knew, um, as a silly little trans bi person that I kind of had to go. Um, and I went with my boyfriend and it was very cool. Um, so we were going to go to the main city of our silly little county and um, we we're gonna march down uh, the street called Gay Street. Uh, and then it would end at the park where there would be a drag show. And you know, free drag show, free parade, free get to see other queer people. The only issue was the fact that my, uh, some of the, the boys TM were planning on crashing pride, which is not very cool of them. So, you know, they, they said that they were going to shoot it up and shit, and, you know, that's really not cool. And, um, I was gonna have my sibling come to Pride, but then I heard that a group of people were going to shoot up Pride, and I didn't want to do that, so I decided to take the risk myself and my boyfriend. And, uh, you know, the boys pussied out, um, you know as somewhat expected, but I'm, I'm glad they posted out because I don't want me and a group of queer people to get massacred. You know, the only queer population here, but um, I digress. I think that's how I use that term. I don't know. I don't know how to use I digress. It's, it's, I've, I've always heard it been said, but I've never, like, understood what it actually says. I should probably look that up. But not right now, because I'm in the middle of the Pride video. We'll talk about, we'll, we'll look that up later. Um, so, uh, we got to the university, me, Coda, and Nico because uh, Nico was there. Nico is one of our mutual, mutual trans girl um, friends. And, uh, you know, she decided to go. She wore her fruitiest outfit. Uh, me and Coda also wore our fruitiest outfits. Coda had me in a full-on skirt and thigh highs. Well, not thigh highs, but knee-high socks. And, uh, you know, it was it was pretty gender-affirming. Uh, you know, I didn't tell my parents about going to the Pride Parade. I just said I was going to Coda's house. Because, um, you know, I'm not out to them. But whatever. It was fun either way. Um, and, you know, I don't really have to tell them that I was at the Pride Parade. Um, I don't think it's really their business. I, 
Actually, I probably should have told them, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. I'm not out as trans, and I'm not gonna tell them because to risk them saying, no, you can't hang out with the gays. You have to be normal. You know, that kind of shit. Anyways, um, so we get to the university and we start marching. You know, they give out uh, free pride flags. I got a trans and a bi one, and so did Koda. Uh, Nico got a trans one. Um, you know, we we uh, we saw a couple of cool queer people. Um, one brought their dog and just had a pride flag in their collar, and I thought it was, I thought it was really cute. Um, so we started watch, uh, marching down Gay Street. There were cops blocking off uh, the main traffic from the road because you know it's a pretty busy road. Gay Street is. It goes like straight through the city, um, and you know, but I didn't think it was a problem because you know we were just marching down like. A max of three blocks, I'd say. But I guess it was too much trouble because literally in the middle of the parade, um, the cops stopped blocking off traffic, which was dangerous and irresponsible for multiple reasons. Because, you know, um, there were children on that road, literal toddlers walking in that pride parade with us. And they, you know, th th those, those two cops just, like, let redneck speeding traffic come through. You know, such a sleigh. Such a sleigh. Honestly. Such a sleigh. Two v one. Come back. But yeah, um, so we had to go back onto um, the sidewalk, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, we almost got hate crimed," you know, shit like that. Um, so we get down to the park, um, and you know, it's it's pretty cool at the park. It is honestly really cool at the park, um, because there's a bunch of places up with merch, and they were giving out drinks, they were giving out free condoms, and Narcan, Narcan is a, um, overdose medication, so if you see anyone overdosing, you can just, like, shoot that shit up their nostrils, and then they'll stop, uh, spazzing out. You know, it's pretty cool. That sucks, um, but yeah, uh, we were just fucking around, um, met a couple of queer people, uh, saw some enemies, you know, some of Coda's enemies, and it just, it was not cool, uh, to see them, but they left pretty fast, which is also very cool. The drag show was amazing, the drag queens were so nice, uh, they were so pretty, um, And it was just so cool to see that many queer people coming together for Pride um, in such a small town. And, you know, when you're queer in this kind of small town, you really do feel kind of alone. Because you can't really relate to a lot of cis or straight people. You know, you can re relate to them on normal stuff, but like queer stuff? You can't really relate to each other, which is kind of sad. Um, because I know a lot of, uh, cis people don't really understand lots of trans struggles, and 
it's sometimes hard to explain to them. I was just like, ugh. You know. I, I don't mind explaining trans struggles to straight or cis people. But, you know, it's... Some of them don't want to learn, I guess. Or some of them just... It's too confusing for them. And it's... Really, to me, it's not super confusing, and to a lot of people I know, it's not super confusing, but it's, it's, whatever. It's, it's, ugh. It was just so nice to see, it, it was really refreshing to see all the queer people together, is what I'm trying to say. You know, no offense to cis or straight people, like, lots of you guys are pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, I'm definitely going to be going to Pride, uh, pretty soon, like, next Pride month. It, um, I'm kind of upset that I didn't get to celebrate Pride, like, like, as much as I wanted to. You know, my, uh, my parents never said Happy Pride to me, and shit, even though they, they know I'm bi, but, like, I don't think they know about Pride Month, which is kind of sad. They'll learn eventually. It's whatever, though. Um, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to do for this video. Um, I was really just hoping to get another video out after uh, what I think, I'm pretty sure, the... Um, the video where um, where I'm explaining where I've been is gonna be up pretty soon. Um, I recorded that prior to recording this, so um, I I might not even have that up by the time this video goes out. I don't know. All I know is um, I figured out how to get a better recording software up. Um, OBS is working splendidly now that I've troubleshooted it and, you know, I can actually record my gameplay, which is honestly all I need. All I, all I need is to be able to record. Like, I can go without streaming, but I might be able to stream. I might try streaming from this laptop, and if I can't, it's like, it's, it's whatever. But yeah, um... I do hope you guys enjoyed this uh, small video. Um, if you did, make sure to hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, this is Echo, signing off.